guys, Lady Lee here from LadyLee'sHome.com. In this video, we are going to harvest the garlic that we planted here at the farm last year in the fall. Um, I'll link to that video, video below or above, and you can see how I went about uh, planting my garlic. A few thoughts um, on what happened here. So. Uh, I'm in Central North Carolina, Zone 7B. We plant our garlic in the fall. Um, so I planted, I think, the end of October. And it rests in the ground until the spring when it starts to pick up and grow again. And then this time of the year, we're about the last week of June right now, we harvest. Um, here are the two problems that I had this year. First of all, again, every year I'm thinking I will be able to come here more and take care of whatever is growing here better. But every year I am proved wrong. So this land, these 20 acres of farmland are right across of my home, um, across the road, really about 20 second drive. Um, but, you know, when you have four kids and you have the big gardens at the house and the animals over there and milking and animal babies and a business to run and farmer's market to attend and baking and it's just every year I find that it's just hard for me to even get here once a week to work in a good productive way. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, my thought was that garlic does not need a lot of tending. It doesn't need a lot of watering. Um, I don't have a well here, so I was thinking, you know, just the rain will be enough. And it is enough. But at the end of the day, even if things grow in landscape fabric, even if the rain is enough and you don't have to hand water, Plants still need tending. They still need feeding. They need fertilizing. They need a little bit of weeding. They need attention. And I find that I just can't give this attention here in this land at that time of my life. So I'm actually thinking that this is probably going to be the last year that I'm planting um, a garden here. I still have a whole lot of room at the house, which is across the road um, and in my yard over there. So I might expand over there and build a few more beds or rows or something like that and plant more over there. I'm not exactly sure yet, uh, but we'll see. The only problem that I have here is that I do have a 30 foot row of asparagus and asparagus is a perennial. And I don't exactly know if you can dig it up and move it. I have to do a little bit more research on that. But the field behind me is about a three acre field. And I think, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think that I just decided to clear it all out and make it just a pasture again, just a field again. Um, anyway, when I'm thinking about this land and my plans for the future, my home and my homestead is going to be out in the back in the field over there. So this field, I'm not sure exactly what will be happening with it, but it's probably not going to be gardens in the immediate or even close future. So that is the thought for right now. Um, so that to say basically that I'm not sure that I like what happened with the garlic here this year. Um, we'll go and harvest in a minute and I'll get a better idea of what's happening. But I feel like it did not grow as much as or as good as it would have been if I was able to fertilize uh, three, four, five times during the time that it was in the soil. Um, but I hope that we'll get something. The other problem that I have, or not exactly problem, but here in zone 7B, we can grow both hard neck garlic and soft neck garlic. And until now, I was always growing the soft neck garlic. Um, I happened to meet a few people in the past few months that grow the hard neck garlic over here in North Carolina, in my area. And it seems to be really beautiful and cure really well and store much better than the soft neck. Um, so I think that what I will do with this garlic is probably uh, use all of it or sell all of it. And I'm gonna try next year to start with fresh new 
uh, hard neck variety. I'm also kind of excited about getting the scapes, the garlic scapes, so that might be a great thing. Um, so that's the thought for right now. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last time I harvest this particular garlic, which I have no clue what the name of the variety, I will try to search for it, but it's been so many years that I've been just saving the, the cloves and planting those, and it's really easy to be self-sufficient when it comes to garlic, but I think that it's time for me to try the hardneck variety, or some kind of hardneck variety. And if you know of a good hardneck variety of garlic, please mention it in the comment below, because I will have to go and research a little bit about that. So um, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to harvest the garlic and kind of get a little bit of an idea of what happened here um, and how much garlic we have. guys so actually not that bad uh, I was pleasantly surprised I was kind of uh, mad at myself that I didn't get to come here enough to take care of the garlic and the onions that I planted here but um, at the end of the day uh, we got a good harvest not too bad at all not as bad as I thought it's going to be definitely um, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing here so if you want to learn about planting garlic Go ahead and watch the other video about how I set this up and I can tell you that the landscape fabric worked really, really well with garlic. Um, garlic has a very thin top and um, it doesn't shade the ground. So a lot of weeds always grow around garlic and the uh, landscape fabric worked miraculously with that because again, I was barely here and if I didn't have the landscape fabric, then it was just, smothered with weeds so this the the um, uh, weed fabric really did a good job here um, when you harvest your garlic wait for a week that is dry a week that it, there's no rain and don't water your garlic we want as little water content in the bulb as possible so wait for a dry week and then when you pull your garlic hold it from the top over here, not down by the head, a little bit from the top, wiggle it a little bit and pull it out. Okay, um, now what happens right now? So a lot of people ask me when it's time to harvest garlic. Um, you'll find in a lot of places that they say that you wait for the tops to kind of start yellow and die. You can 
You really don't have to though. You can harvest your garlic before it starts yellowing too. Um, just dig a little bit around the bulb and measure you know, the size of the bulb. And if that's good enough for you, then you can go ahead and, and harvest it. But most people wait until the tops start to yellow like this. And once you do it once or twice, then you'll know the time of the year too. So, you know, I know that here, the end of June is time for us to harvest garlic. So I just go ahead and harvest it, even if the tops are not completely dead or whatever. What happens now? Do not make the mistake of leaving your garlic in the field because nights are moist. And what we want to do right now is dry it. Um, another word for it is cure the garlic. And basically we want to prepare it for storage and we need it to be dry in order to store for a long period of time. So I'm going to take a few of those and kind of tie them together. I want some space here around the bulbs um, so they have airflow. I might even put a fan around them because we have such hum high humidity here in North Carolina. Um, and I have a lean-to to my shed. I'm going to stick a few nails on the rafters and then just hang the bunches like this. And I'll leave them probably for two weeks or so to dry. And again, since we have such high humidity here in North Carolina, I might have to add a fan to move the air. I don't want any humidity. Um, I really want to try to keep them as dry as possible. If you live in a dry area, dry climate, then it's perfect. But do not leave your garlic on the ground. The ground is moist, nights are moist, and we really want to um, to get it as dry as possible. If you have room, if your your house is air conditioned and you have room in your house, maybe you can put a screen, um, you know, like a screen on a couple of blocks in your basement or something like that. Then you can just lay them, um, lay them, lay them in one layer and let them dry this way. You want to find an area that is dry and that they can stay. Um, for a couple of weeks without nobody disturbing them or moving them or whatever. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tie them like this and then hang them from the roof of my shed. Maybe add a, a fan or something like that. Once uh, two weeks passed, you can cut the tops and then your garlic is ready for storing. Another important point is do not peel the paper around the garlic. Do not wash the garlic. You can brush the soil a little bit with your hands, but that's about it. Don't peel it. Don't wash it. Don't do anything like that. We want it as dry as possible. All right, you guys, um, I might change my mind, <laughs> you know, after this harvest. It's really not as bad as I was thinking. Um, even with me, literally, I did not do nothing. Um, I'm a little ashamed to say that because I take care of my garden with such OCD that it's sometimes ridiculous, even for me. But here, I literally did nothing since I planted the garlic. I think I came um, maybe twice and kind of weed just a tiny bit, whatever, a few weeds that um, found their ways to the through the opening in the um, weed fabric. But other than that, I really did nothing. I didn't fertilize this garlic even once. And, you know, we have we have a nice harvest. So maybe it will be a good idea to do it again. Maybe build a couple more beds around the house for garlic. I don't know. I just know that I have to grow garlic. So until next spring, I will have to find a solution and hopefully you'll stay tuned and come back and we'll see how this is going to unfold. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm kind of uh, every time, you know, all, all the time, you just have to think, how, are, how am I going to make the garden a little easier for me to manage and a little better for the plants? And my brain always works in, in this way. And you know, you really make little changes and from year to year, you can feel that it's getting easier to manage. It's getting easier to uh, produce more food on a small area, you know? So that's where my thought is, maybe I'll be back here to grow garlic, maybe not, we'll see. But anyway, please subscribe and like, and I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please um, ask them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. 
and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.